welcome back to another video but if you're new here hi my name is Taylor thank you so much for joining me yes I know it's been a minute but your girl is back and I'm behind on so much of my PRs and reviews it's not even funny so today I'm sharing with you Kiara Sky sprinkle on two glitters so as you guys can see they came so beautifully packaged oh my gosh I don't like opening my Kiara Sky packages because the packaging is so cute and adorable but how can I show you guys these gorgeous glitters if I don't open it up right so Kiara Sky sent me 11 of their new sprinkle on glitters to share with you guys so we are going to swatch these out I'm going to swatch them on my clear pop sticks and I'm going to be using the Kiara Sky No Wipe Gel Top Coat and the reason for this is because I do want to see how these cover so sit back relax and enjoy these gorgeous swatches and I'll meet you guys back after I'm finished with my final thoughts
so here we have all 11 colors swatched and i must say these colors are so freaking gorgeous like oh my gosh i am in love with each and every one of them i really can't pick a favorite and i honestly can't wait to collect more of these sprinkle on glitters now for me personally i do prefer to work with raw glitters because it gives you more flexibility when working with different products so you can pre-mix these on your own with clay acrylic you can mix it with gel you can mix them with poly gel or even just do what it says apply some no wipe gel top coat and sprinkle it on top of the nail and use that as a textured or sugar nail like the possibilities with raw glitters are endless so if you're interested in any of the glitters that i swatched today or any out of the 48 colors that care sky have on their website i do have the colors that i swatched listed in my description box as well as a direct link to the care sky website and if you click on the link in my description box below it is automatically going to apply a 10 percent off discount at checkout which is absolutely amazing and you guys can get your hands on these products plus save some extra money so as far as the nail art design goes we're going to keep it really simple and I am going to be doing some press on nails so I'm starting off with the e-nail couture's 123 go xxl square gel tips and I'm going to be applying a nice even coat of Madame Glam's blood orange to the entire nail now while that gel polish is still wet I'm going to take I Love You by Kiera Sky and I'm going to sprinkle it all over the entire nail into that wet gel polish and then I'm going to go ahead and cure this for a full 60 seconds now after that gel is cured i'm going to take my kiara sky dust brush and i'm just going to remove any excess glitter that would not have been cured into that gel and that is it that's all i'm going to do for my sugar nails now some people may apply a no wipe gel top coat the reason why i'm not doing that is because madame glam gel polishes don't really cure with that extra tacky dispersion layer so it's not going to be affected or it's not going to cause the sugar nails to get lint or anything like that because that glitter is fully covered on that gel polish so I just repeated the same thing to this nail and after applying the glitter I'm just going to go ahead and pop that in the light and I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds once again and I absolutely love this orange glitter so on the other two nails I am taking the etiquette first gel polish by Kiara Sky and I'm going to be applying it to the entire nail and I'm going to cure each layer for 30 seconds. Now to be totally honest with you guys, I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do with the pinky nail. So right now I'm just going to apply the Madame Glam's Blood Orange and I did go ahead and cure that in the light without putting any glitter on top of it. Taking my long fine liner brush by Madame Glam and these nail art brushes that Madame Glam came out with. Guys, they are so amazing, extremely easy to work with. It just glides on that nail whether using gel polish or gel paint. And I find myself reaching for them more lately than any of my other nail art brushes. So now I'm taking Blood Orange once again and I just put it on my palette. And we're going to be creating a French. Now to get that nice deep French tip, I'm going to do a V-shaped cutout connecting them in the center of the nail at the tip. And then I'm going to round it right where I want my smile line to stop. Now I found that it was a little bit too high. So I did go down some more on that French smile line, like on that curve. But before I do that, I did start coloring in the French. Now, you can start off with your nail art brush, but I would suggest going in with the actual gel polish brush after creating that barrier to smoothen out the line that you created so that there's not a big pool on your smile line of gel polish. So now I'm just eyeballing it and making sure that both sides are nice and even. The French is nice and deep how I want it. And I'm just going to continue playing around with it until I'm happy with the way that that French looks. After that, I'm going to go ahead and remove any excess gel. You do want to remove the excess gel along the side walls and maybe even across the tip of the nail. 
just to help to maintain that nail shape. And I am going to go ahead and cure this in my Beyond Pro Care Sky Light. Now for me, this is the easiest way to do a nice deep French and it's the way that I prefer to do it. However, I've been seeing it many different ways on Instagram. So on the other nail, I'm going to try it a different way. So I did put a mark in the center of the tip of the nail where you want those two points to connect. And now I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to draw a line from that center line all the way down to where I want my French to end closer to the cuticle area. Now honestly speaking, I did not prefer this method at all. I like the first way that I showed you guys because it's easier for me. This one did take a little bit of perfecting to get that smile line how I like it. So it took me more time to do it this way than the first way that I showed you guys. And to be honest with you guys, after doing it this way and then turning it around, I realized that it was totally off. It was uneven, it was one-sided, everything. So this is just me playing with those two lines and trying to even them out. And I realized that maybe the line in the center wasn't long enough. So then I decided to lengthen that line and just continue connecting as much as possible. Now as I show you guys, it just wasn't working at all. I leave my mistakes in so you guys can learn from it. I'm not perfect, I make mistakes like everybody else. So when I realized that the triangle on top was actually throwing me off completely because that was just one sided, I decided to start filling in the French. Now once you fill in that French, you will see where you need to go in and clean up on your smile line. And that is exactly what helped me to center the smile line how and where I want it to be. I went ahead and cleaned that blood orange off my palette and I added another gel polish by Madame Glam called Sunset in Hawaii which is actually one of their July releases and I added the blooming gel to my palette as well. So taking that same liner brush I'm going to be outlining and filling in over the entire blood orange French tip with the blooming gel. You do want to make sure that there's a nice generous coat on there and cover the entire tip properly. Next, I'm going to be loading my brush up with that Sunset in Hawaii. You do want to make sure there's a nice pool of gel polish at the tip of your brush. And we're just going to create some dashes in that blooming gel. Now, I did not cure my blooming gel, so I am applying the Sunset in Hawaii on top of that wet gel. And this is going to actually help in this piercing to create that nice crocodile print which is trending all over Instagram right now. And to me, honestly, this is the easiest way to achieve that crocodile print. Because of the blooming gel, it's actually going to create the design for you. And the reason for having the tip of your brush loaded up with that gel polish is to help you get those nice even lines so that it disperses evenly or as even as possible so that you have your perfect croc print nail tip. And that is it. To me, that is one of the easiest ways to achieve the crocodile print. If you guys try these out, you can do it with many different colors. And tag me on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure that you are. It's at The Glamorous Nails. And I do post, actually I do post more regular on Instagram than I would on YouTube. And lately I've been trying to be consistent on Instagram as well. So that's why I'll be doing press-ons because I want to create IG content. 
and i also asked you guys on my community tab a few weeks ago like what type of content you would like to see and you all suggested easy nail art tutorials so this is why i'm bringing these type of videos across on youtube for you guys and if you enjoy the quick and easy nail art tutorial definitely give this video a thumbs up and once i'm creating my ig content or most times it's just pictures for instagram i will actually do a tutorial to show you guys how i created that design so if there's any instagram trends that you guys are seeing hanging around that you want me to recreate and actually show you guys step by step how to do so tell me in the comment section down below and i will try my best to get as many out for you guys as possible so when i was happy with the way that the crocodile print looked i just went ahead and removed any of the excess blooming gel off the sides and the free edge also to help maintain the shape of my press-ons and then i cured it for 60 seconds in my light So back to that pinky nail, I decided that I wanted the sugar effect on this nail as well, but I already applied my Madame Glam's Blood Orange. So now I'm taking the Kiara Sky No Wipe Gel Top Coat and I'm just going to coat over the entire nail. And as that top coat is still wet, I'm going to sprinkle on the I Love You Glitter by Kiara Sky as well. Now because I already have the color underneath and then I apply top coat, I need to take my finger along the sides to remove any excess and even across the nail tips so that it helps to maintain that nail shape and this is what the entire set looks like i did not apply any of my no wipe gel top coat to any of these nails but i am only doing that to the crock nails and this is what the entire set looks like on my nails and i absolutely love it i love it i love it guys i don't do orange nails i can't even remember the last time i did orange nails on myself but let me tell you, honey, I am definitely going to be doing some more orange nails. I absolutely love how this color looks against my skin tone. Like, it is just so freaking popping. Okay, guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoy this really quick and easy nail art design. The many different techniques that I showed you guys in today's video. Tell me what colors you would love to see this design in. In the comment section down below and go ahead and leave me a crocodile emoji with that comment as well don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and turn your post notifications on so that way you don't miss out whenever your girl posts a new video so that is it for me i hope you're having an amazing day or night whatever time it is where you're watching from right now as always i would love for you guys to stay glamorous be safe and i'll see you soon